From laser lights to thousands of excited students, Oklahoma's FFA convention is nothing short of spectacular. And the work done by this year's keynote speaker is equally impressive. Our Brian Bindley introduces us to a teacher who's changing the world one student at a time. Oklahoma State FFA officers raised the roof on the Cox Convention Center in Oklahoma City with their grand entrance and laser light show. FFA members, get on your feet! Over 10,000 FFAers created a sea of blue and gold as members came together for the 81st annual State FFA Convention. I'm just so impressed because it's just, it's sharp, it's on point. I mean, it's just, it's a classy production, and these kids have done it. Whose broad stripes in bright stars. 357 chapters from across the state participated in leadership activities, as well as having the opportunity to hear from speakers like Ron Clark. That's exactly what I try to teach my students to, to go for it. The FFA is great because it's all about building leaders, respect for yourself, respect for others, and how to be good leaders, not only in agriculture, but in any facet, whatever these kids go on to become. And when it comes to motivating students, Clark has a long resume. Not only was he named Teacher of the Year, Ron Clark, but also wrote a best-selling book, as well as numerous appearances on national television. Yet it is his work with troubled youth in the rural South and the streets of Harlem that he is most famous for. Um, when I first went to the classroom, I just thought, I'd make it fun and exciting and these kids would learn. What I realized is that if you don't have structure and discipline in place, no learning will happen. I see a lot of teachers going to the classroom, they want the kids to love them, want it to be fun. And what happens is that by November, the kids are crawling the walls because there's no structure in that classroom. So that's why I developed my 55 rules, the essential 55, and I use them to put structure in the classroom to teach the kids how to treat each other, how to treat me, how to hold themselves with respect and dignity, and also it teaches them life skills. I, when I first started teaching, I saw a lot of teachers telling kids, mind your manners, be respectful, be organized. And a lot of these kids, I found that they really didn't understand exactly what that meant. And so I said, well, I'm going to break down what it means to be respectful, what it means to be organized, to show respect for others. And I just was very specific with the kids. I role played those rules. I wanted them to be very clear. And then I found that once I was clear with kids about what I expected, the results were so much greater. What I try to create in my classroom is the most successful learning environment, an environment where everyone is lifting each other up, supporting each other. We're a team. You know, if it's just one student trying to please one teacher, and all that kid cares about is the teacher, he's only gonna try so hard, but if he wants the whole class to be proud of him, if it's a team effort, he'll work so much harder. It's the same thing in, in any job, any work environment. If the employee is just trying to please the boss, he's just working for the boss, but if he's on a team, if he really feels like they're all working together and they're supporting each other, lifting each other up, that works so much harder, that's the type of environment that you need to create if you really wanna have success. Success, Clark says he sees in Oklahoma's FFA. Oh.